What's up, guys? It's time for another 10 day diet update video. See a little, a little baby cuts in my little baby biceps. World's smallest arms for a 500 pound bencher. Uh, hashtag forearms bigger than my biceps. Um, anyway, let's uh, show you the shit and then I will read it to you. <clears throat> Last 10 days. Average carbs were 238. Average protein 235, which is lower than I would like. Average fat was 64. Average calories 2653. Um, with a high of 3382 and a low of 2022. Um, average weight was 284.1, which is down 4.4 pounds from the last 10 day average. A uh, high of 286, which is down 5.2 pounds from the last 10 day average. And a low of 282, which is down 4 pounds from the last 10 day average. Uh, 282 is also a new all time low. Uh, so at this point, 80 days in, I've seen as much as a 30 pounds variance on the scale. Uh, my first weigh in day was 312. Um, so, yeah. Uh, starting to get to me now. Um, I can tell strength is down a little bit. Um, I went to squat yesterday, and I'm sure I'll upload the footage at some point. I was going to work up to a five plate squat like usual. And then drop down, we're going to do 315 for five sets of five, uh, you know, deep only squats with a pause at the bottom. Uh, I put four plates on there and it felt pretty heavy, so I just decided uh, to nix the five plate squat for the day. Was I still physically capable of doing it? Yes. Um, just, you know, when I'm cutting, uh, I try to cut as many risks out as possible for injury. And I just wasn't feeling it that day, so um, decided... Uh, to use caution there um, Anyway as far as dieting goes Monday through Friday now I'm basically eating the same thing every day This is part of it um, Meal one when I come home for my lunch break I do intermittently fast if somebody's new here um, I do a 16-8 schedule 16 hours fasting 8 hour eating window Meal run, meal one, around twelve thirty p.m. in the afternoon. Um, seven whole eggs, uh, ninety grams of cream of rice, and a two scoop whey protein shake with my creatine and my half a horse dose uh, joint supplement in there. Um, and then immediately pre workout, I have a. Applesauce pouch. And then post workout, I come home and I have 900 grams of potatoes with six cups of liquid egg whites and six servings of Hershey's light chocolate syrup. It gets me 268 carbs, 261 protein, 38 fat, 2620 calories. Um, I was eating a whole kilo of potatoes uh, post workout. Here, as the cuts dragged on, you know my performance starts to wane. Lifting weights, uh, I decided to cut 100 grams of potatoes out for that applesauce to have, so I can have some carbs pre workout. Uh, try to help and combat, you know, that lack of performance a little bit. But yeah, that's what's going down. Um, you know, just. Making steady weight loss. Uh, it's really disheartening, you know, lifting and, you know, lifting weights that are a couple hundred pounds less than what you, you know, were lifting, you know, after a full peak cycle and them feeling, you know, not as fast as they did a few months ago. But, you know, it's part of it. It's about longevity. Marathon, not a sprint, blah, 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 cliche, cliche, and all that stuff. Uh, it's just playing it smart, uh, listening to your body. You know, I'll, I'll be 32 this year. I'm not a super old geezer like Colin DeWay or anything, but, you know, I'm getting on up there. Um, 
recovery and rest and being smart at this point um, really goes a long way. You know, you can train hard balls to the walls all you want, but if you're not smart about it, you're going to get hurt. And, uh, you know, fuck up your recovery, etc. And you can still make gains, but you're not going to maximize them, which is, you know, why I don't compete often. So this diet video is going on way too long. Um, if you enjoyed it, cool. If you didn't enjoy it, that's cool too.